The Catholic Sunday Mass readings for February the 6th, 2022, the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C. The first reading is from the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with the train of his garments filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. They cried one to another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is Psalm 138. In the sight of the angels I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my, all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple <coughs> and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great for you have made great above all things your name and your promise when i called you answered me you built me st up strength within me in the sight of the angels i will sing your praises lord all the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you o lord when they hear the words of your mouth and they shall sing of the ways of the lord Great is the glory of, God, of the Lord. In, sight of, in the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. The second reading is from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance, what I received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, so that he appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve. After that, Christ appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that he appeared to James, and then all the apostles. Last of all, as one born abnormally, he appeared to me. For I am the least of the apostles, not for, fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace to me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them. Not I, however, but the grace of God that is in me, with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believe. The word of the Lord. 
Alleluia, alleluia. Come after me and I will make you fishers of men. A reading from, from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats up there alongside the lake. The fishermen were disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have been working hard all night and <coughs> have caught nothing. But at your command I will lower the nets. When he had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signalled to the partners in the other boat to come help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of the fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid, from now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord.